hello students welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now let's solve this problem which says that the 50 kg flower part is suspended from wires a b and b c if the wires have a normal failure stress of 350 megapascal determine the minimum diameter of each wire using a factor of safety of 2.5 so as we know that the factor of safety is equal to the failure stress divided by the allowable stress so from this we can say that the allowable stress is equal to the failure stress divided by the factor of safety so we can say that the allowable stress for both the wires is equal to the failure stress so failure stress is 350 megapascal divided by the factor of safety which is 2.5 so 350 divided by 2.5 gives us 140 megapascal so allowable stress for both the wires is 140 megapascal so we have to find the minimum diameter of each wire if the allowable uh, if the average allowable normal stress is 140 megapascal for both the wires so in order to find the minimum diameter we have to find the forces um, in each of the wires so we have to find fbc and fab so let's say that um, if we consider that uh, joint b where the part is hanging so this point b is in equilibrium so at b there will be a force FBC which will be acting in this direction so this is FBC and we will have a force in AB so this will be FAB and the weight of the part is going to act vertically downward like this so this is we can say the weight and as we can see that this uh, point B this is in equilibrium so if this is in equilibrium then the sum of these three forces by head to tail rule is equals to zero so we can say that the resultant is equal to zero if joint b is in equilibrium so if the resultant is equal to zero and at a particular joint or a point if we have three forces then these three forces must must make a close triangle by head to tail rule so we can say that this fbc if we join these three forces by head to tail rule then they must make a close triangle if if this point b is in equilibrium so we can say that this is fbc so I will write that this is FBC then the weight this is the weight which is acting vertically downward so this is the weight and we have FAB so so this is the we can say so this is FAB and is we have joined these three forces by head to tail rule so the resultant must start from the head of the last vector to the tail of the first vector so we can say that the resultant is just a point which means that the resultant has no length so the resultant magnitude is equal to zero now as we can see that fa fbc is making 45 degree angle here so this is 45 degree angle here which is given here so if this is 45 then this angle is 45 degree angle as well so we can say that this angle this is 45 and similarly uh, this FAB this is making 30 degree angle here so this is 30 degree angle so we can say this is 30 and similarly is we know that FBC is making 45 degree angle here and this is 90 degree then this is 45 degree angle as well so we can say this angle is 45 and similarly if this angle is 30 if this is 30 then this is 30 as well and this is 90 then this angle is 60 so we can say that this angle is 60 now if we add up both of these 45 plus 30 then this is 75 so we can say that this angle is 75 so now using the law of sines we can find fab now the weight of the part is given which is 50 times 9.81 so this is 50 times 9.81 newton now we can say that fab 
divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So the opposite angle to FAB is this angle, 45. So we can say FAB divided by sine of 45. This is equal to the weight, which is 50 into 9.81 divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So this is the opposite angle to the weight, which is 75. So sine of 75 degree. And similarly, we can say that this is equal to FBC divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So uh, this is the opposite angle to FBC, which is 60. So we can say sine of 60. So now comparing these two equations, we can find FAB. And comparing these two equations, we can find FBB. So if we compare these two, then FAB will be equal to this ratio multiplied by sine of 45. So we can say that FAB is equal to weight divided by sine of 75 multiplied by sine of 45. And similarly, we can say that FBC will be equal to this multiplied by sine of 60. So 50 into 9.81. Multiply by sine of 60. So we can find FAB and FBC. So FAB is equal to 359 Newton, and similarly, FBC is 439.77, 439.77 Newton. So now since we know that the allowable stress for both the wires is 140 megapascal, so we can say that uh, the allowable stress for FAB, or we can say that for a B wire is equal to FAB divided by the area of a B wire. So we can say that phi divided by 4 dia of a B square and this is equal to 140 mega Pascal so mega is 10 raised to the power 6 Pascal is Newton per meter square so now we know FAB FAB is 359 we will plug in here so this is um, 359 Newton Newton when cancel out and similarly we want to find the die of AB wire so we can rearrange this equation and we can say that DAB square is equal to 359 divided by 140 into 10 raised to the power 6 multiplied by pi divided by 4 and we will have the units of meter square here and if we take the square root we will be able to find the dia of AB wire so we can say that DAB Three fifty nine divided by one forty multiplied by ten raised to the power six multiply by pi divided by four. So this gives us DAB zero point zero zero one eight zero six, and this is in meters. And if we multiply it with thousands, since uh, 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm so multiply our th answer with 1000 this gives us 1.806 so we can say that the dia of wire AB must be 1.806 or 1.807 mm if you want to have the allowable uh, allowable normal stress equals to 140 megapascal so this is the dia of AB wire. Similarly, using the same method, we can say that the allowable stress for wire BC is equal to FBC. So FBC is 439.77 divided by the area of the wire, which is pi divided by 4 dia of BC square equals to 140 megapascal. Newton cancel out so from from this equation we can say that dbc square is equal to divided by pi divided by 4 we can see 
140 multiplied by 10 is 4 6 into pi divided by 4 so this is now 439.77 now the answer is dbc is equal to 0 0.001 one triple nine meters and if you multiply it with thousand we will have the answer in so this is dbc is approximately equal to um two mm so we were required to find the dia of a b wire a b and b c so the dia of wire a b must be 1.807 mm and the dia of YBC must be 2 mm if the allowable stress in both the wires is 140 megapascal. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hippler.